Hi, I'm Sean McManus. I am at KubeCon this week, and I'm joined now by Rob McMahon from Red Hat. And we're going to be talking about Postgres, Red Hat, OpenShift, and how the two work together. Rob, thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure, Sean. Lovely to be here. Let me ask you first of all, what are customers and partners telling you about their AI deployment plans? Well, it's very interesting. So what, what we're hearing from the vast majority of customers is that experimentation is truly underway. Um, experimentation tends to be happening in the public cloud. However, as they're moving out to deployment and looking to put this into production, they're looking to bring a lot of this stuff on site. There's a couple of reasons for that. Um, when you move to production, scalability becomes incredibly important. That portability between be being able to leverage speed within cloud, but then having the trust and the capabilities within your own data center mean they're looking at bringing into both. That moves to governance and trust. Our customers are being very aware around the models they're doing and the AI governance. Um, we know that the uh, governments around the world are changing and developing the regulations very rapidly. It's something they're keeping a very close eye on. Finally, the piece which I think most customers are learning from their existing cloud and their virtualization experiences, when it comes to data, you need availability and you need options. Um, that's where we're seeing Postgres very much complement what we're seeing with OpenShift. Between the two of them, an open source solution coming out, being able to um, provide the, uh, all the value of an open source um, of, um, solution, but with the enterprise grade support. Not having to build your own capabilities, but being able to look and trust on the vendor to provide support, provide a roadmap, um, provide enterprise grade capabilities. Why are customers choosing Postgres for data management? So when you look at the, the challenges inside the data center, that, that vendor lock-in that everybody is um, so very cautious on around um, what we've seen in the virtualization space, open source solutions are being looked to as, as a way of solving that problem. Um, we all know that if you, if you take an open source solution, um, there's a community version and there's an enterprise version. Looking towards the enterprise version allows you to achieve um, all the flexibility and the speed and the innovation of the open source community, but with the trust and um, support of a, of a professional organization uh, behind you. So that's Red Hat's offering in the open source space, taking a community edition and putting the trust, support and governance around that to allow it to be deployed with confidence and trust in an enterprise environment. The same is being sought of um, from Postgres AI. Tell us about how Red Hat OpenShift and Postgres AI are working together. Our customers are asking us to solve complex problems on their behalf. What that means is they're looking to their vendors to build solutions together, not to work independently and, and turn up as individual organizations, but actually to, to work truly as an ecosystem, to, to collaborate and deliver a joint solution, sharing the, um, the understanding of what a customer needs to put something into production, not just their own individual products. That's what we're doing together. We're, we're taking that complexity. We're looking to simplify that. Because when you look at what they're deploying, we, we talked very briefly about these hybrid deployments. You're taking a complex solution and you're putting it in a complex environment. You're looking to run across multiple clouds across multiple um, potentially data centers and, and very varying locations and varying technology stacks. That's complex. What we're attempting to do, and I have to say succeeding, is taking that level, and we're doing this at an engineering level, working together to build um, both the, the monitoring, the observability, so that actually when a solution goes in, the trust is there and we're, and we're seen together working to deliver that customer success. Tell us a bit about how your collaboration will help customers with low-code and no-code solutions. So no-code and low-code solutions really are the, the epitome of that simplicity. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to democratize AI, make it super simple for anybody, anywhere, to very quickly be able to deploy and build out their, their AI models. Working together, what we've been able to do is exactly that. Simplify the process so that when you take an OpenShift application that's managing um, 
AI workloads across multiple locations and clouds. You want to be able to deploy not just a container, but a fully loaded stack, which actually has the capabilities. So um, your data scientists can very quickly start to build their models, or if you're actually in deployment, you want to get it up and inference started. Being able to do that in a no-code, low-code uh, environment is, is what our customers are asking for. So that's what we're delivering. I guess another thing they're asking for is greater data sovereignty and AI sovereignty. Tell us a bit about how you're helping them with that. So this gets very interesting. It goes back to one of the points I mentioned at the beginning. The experimentation is happening in the cloud, but deployments are happening at home on their own local data centers. The primary reason for that is data sovereignty and governance. Being able to um, demonstrate to uh, potentially governments or in some cases shareholders in the board we have control of our data. Uh, it's, it's in an area which we are looking after and, and is, um, is protected. With AI, we know that it's changing the way that businesses are running. Um, we're at the infancy of that. We don't know where it's gonna fully go, but we're very excited about where we're heading. In that world, people naturally are being very cautious. What our solutions allow is, is the ability in a very low friction environment Pick the location that best suits your business and, in some cases, geographical requirements. Rob, thank you very much for joining me today. It's a pleasure. Lovely to meet you, Sean.